Hello everyone. Thank you for coming up today. My old subscribers, thank you. And to those that are viewing for the first time or that have not subscribed, please click on the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified each time we upload a new video. And to my new subscribers, thank you for subscribing. Please don't forget to hit on the thumbs up. This is indeed a big surprise and shock to a lot of people. A teenager who was confirmed dead surprised everybody. He was actually declared dead, this particular young man, after being hit by a van. Woke up as his organs were about to be donated. Also, the family members were told that Lewis Roberts, that is the boy, he is 18 years old, was brain dead for four days after the crash in the Lake Stadfordshire in England. And his life support machine was to be turned off. Also, his relatives agreed for his organs to be donated to help save other lives. You know, when some people are in a critical condition like that and they are under this life support and then sometimes even under that life support they're not making any moves they're not making any improvement and the doctors will confront the families and like do you want to keep up and it's usually very expensive so they would now ask they'll give them the option of either you take out the life support and let the person just pass away and you know the person is dead or you let the life support carry on for as long as it takes to see if the person will revive back again. Some of them are in coma for some weeks, days, and then it's up to the family. And in such situations, when they know that these particular individuals that are on the life support, they are not completely dead, but at the same time, there is no movement, no reflex, nothing is happening to them. They understand still, but some of their organs are still functioning. And that is when they would now give option of either you would like to donate that particular organ to be donated to us to help other lives. Fortunately, this brought the team extra time on the life support machine as they also needed it on until they could go in for surgery to remove his organs. And miraculously, he began to breathe hours before the surgery to remove his organs. Isn't this a very big miracle? You can imagine that someone who was already confirmed like he's already gone. We just need to get rid of the organs so that it's not a waste and they use it to save other people's life. And Chloe Roberts said in an online fundraiser, for Robert on March 13, 2021, Lewis suffered catastrophic head injuries when he was struck by a van in his hometown of Leek and was flown to a hospital where he underwent emergency surgery. And also it was for this later that the doctors broke the news to their family that nothing more could be done as he had unfortunately suffered a brainstem death and sadly passed away. You know, having to hear this kind of a news, what do you expect the family to do? It's just to give up. You know, sometimes when family members are being faced with death like this, it's difficult for you to accept it. And that is why you see that some of these families would now say, leave the child on the life support or leave that particular family member on the life support with the hope that this person would come back to life but after they had now decided okay and said all right they've accepted with the doctors and now said it's fine for the doctor to just take him out and they even said their goodbyes to Lewis. close family bravely agreed for his organs to be donated to help the lives of seven other people and this brought Lewis, that's the boy extra time before his life support machine was turned off just hours before Lewis's surgery. He began to breathe again on his own. He didn't need that life support and a miracle. 
in fact it's just a big miracle any family could wish for after being told that he had zero chance of pulling through you know they had all given up and they even accepted that yes these organs should be go donated so that they can even save lives so you can imagine how this family would feel and after this lewis was carried on progressing with his health he has started to react to pain tests moving his limbs on his own without anybody supporting him and also moving his head from side to side but he's been doing that like gradually blinking and also moving his mouth every day the boy is getting stronger this is someone that they had given up hope on and many people have asked to send money for a paint for lewis any money that is sent will be for lewis when he is home and back on his feet again and they would like to say as a family they are so grateful and they, they pray that everyone's prayers and best wishes for lewis which they have been cheering up for a very long time right now it's an exciting thing for this family today they're just more than happy and also more than 1000 euro has already been raised for the 18 years old through a paint for lewis online appeal it's such a great miracle i'm sure a lot of families who are in such situations would only be praying for such thing only god can do this nobody else you can just imagine it in your head that someone has been pronounced dead and again he has been on life support there was just no way out again other than to turn off this life support and let them take off the organs you could see that god used the response of his parents to bring him back god saw that his family members are also thinking about other people too because it's not easy the family were they were even very courageous to have even accepted that they take off the life support and even take out his organs to help that was a bold step it only takes a very strong-hearted family to take such decision and god indirectly now used that as a blessing for them because they told the doctor okay after they had deliberated and saw that there was no headway they told the doctor all right that is fine you can take the organs so you save other people well, there were about seven other people that wanted organs for survival but god said no let me bring your son back for this your kind hearted nature so these parents have also proved that it was just a miracle from god they even said that it can only be god this is only a miracle how I wish this would happen for a lot of people that are suffering or going through the same or even worse situations. You know, his own situation it was even worse because the doctor had already confirmed him a dead person. There was no point you waste your money. There was no point you keep up with him in that manner. Let him just be buried and while the organs are used. It was just like Abraham. When Abraham decided to sacrifice his son only son but god saw how faithful he was and god said no stop take the lamb instead i think this is another abraham in existence this family is the abraham family they decided that okay let their organs let the child's organ help bring other kids or other people back to life and god said no let me bring your son back to life it's a thing of joy i can imagine how excited those families are at the moment because it's really painful to lose a loved one i'm sure it took them a lot of courage and effort to accept that the life support should be taken away and his organs removed so just come to think of it that your own child is lying there and they're now saying that the child is dead completely there's nothing they can do about it and all of a sudden you're seeing the same child moving or waking up at that time when they were supposed to kill him so you you will just be saying thank god if parents will be saying thank god that this life support was not taken 
immediately. Otherwise, they would have loosed him. But the truth is, irrespective of anything, when God has destined something to be, no matter how it happens, that thing must still come to pass. It's a thing of joy and gratitude and gratefulness to God. God has a way of doing miracles and this is a very big miracle that he has done. The thing of death is difficult to lose a loved one. Very, very difficult and so painful. When you lose anybody, it's hard. It only takes the grace of God for you to pull yourself together and accept that that person is gone. But God just proved otherwise. God is really a wonderful God indeed. Friends, if you have anything to say, you can please put that down at the comment section. Please don't forget to hit on the thumbs up. Also subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified each time we upload a new video. Friends, I'm here today to talk about how to start up a new YouTube channel. So for those that are looking to start up a new YouTube channel, probably you've been trying to figure out how to go about it or you have been trying to see what it entails or what you need to start. That's why I'm here today to give you the easy way for you to get this done. Not just the easy but the best method and also to give you or to talk about the best teacher who will give you all that it's required for you to start up your own youtube channel this is a teacher he is really successful with his youtube and he has been a teacher for so long now teacher is matt pa he's going to give you a step-by-step -step method on how to start up your own youtube channel no stone unturned every step of the way he's going to lead you through it you have links that you can actually reach out to him and communicate with him directly that's mad path there you can see the huge successes he has made in youtube you can see his silver you can see the gold you can also see his revenue that he's actually making on YouTube, which is very huge. He is going to give you a YouTube step-by-step -step tube mastery class. Every step of the way from the beginning of the opening of the channel to how you can start up and put up your videos. He is leaving no stone unturned, like I said. So for those that are seeking for how to start up their own YouTube channel, this is the easiest and the fastest way for you to have access to this particular teacher who is honest and straightforward and you will enjoy every bit of the class and you will have lots of gain. At the end of your class, you will have lots to hold on to and to start up your own YouTube channel. It's going to be like an ABC class starting from the scratch. So please, for those of you that are interested in starting up your own YouTube channel, Matt Pa, he is the teacher and you will have direct access to him. I'm dropping the link below. So please, you just click on that link and you will have access to MathPass class. He is going to give you the whole content of YouTube and all that it takes for you to be successful in YouTube and how to start YouTube from the scratch. Like I said, and I'm going to repeat, he's leaving no stone unturned and it's so interesting that if you have any kind of complaint, no matter the time you have this complaint or you are confused about anything, you can communicate directly to him 
and he will give you a response as soon as he gets your question or as soon as he gets your mail or anything you're trying to confirm from him. He is quick at responding and he will give you the right answers. And even if you go elsewhere to search, you'll find out that what he is saying is actually true. He wouldn't mislead you. So please, for those of you that want to start your own YouTube channel from the scratch and see how you can be successful on YouTube, please go to this link, click on the link below. So you will have access to the teacher. That's the teacher there you can see and see his success. You can go through that and then you click on the link so that you can have direct access to Matt pa himself. This teacher, you will enjoy and enjoy every bit of the classes that he's going to give to you. So friends, do not forget to click the link below so you have access to MathPass to Mastery class and he will give you the best teaching for YouTube you would really need to start your own channel. Friends, thank you for coming up today. Please, for those that have not subscribed, click on the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified each time we upload a new video. Thank you once again and God bless you all.